Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to create a uh, horizontal navigation menu using only styles. So here's an example of a little horizontal navigation menu, and it's got uh, it's cascading, so it's got drop-down choices, and also the active parent choice is formatted with a slightly different color, so you can keep track of that. So that's what we're going to create here. So let me jump over to my editor, and I've got a bunch of stuff on here, but uh, it's going to make things too easy for us, so let me just go ahead and and with the help, clear everything out. Okay, start from a clean slate. Save that. Of course, I'm going to finish off my style tag. Closing head tag and a body tag. Now I've definitely got a blank page. If I go back here and refresh, there we go. So I've already got my uh, markup set up, obviously, for an HTML5 document. Got that type, doc type definition title, uh, character encoding, um, and I've also got a meta author in there. I'm going to be creating styles certainly, but I do need to set up my my list. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a little, uh, I'll just what the hell, I'll do a little h1 in here, and this is going to be of course my uh, navigation menu, and my navigation menu is going to be made up of an unordered list. Okay. And let me go ahead and uniquely identify it. There we go. And my unordered list is going to have a series of list items. And of course, each of these is going to be a hyperlink. I'm just going to do a little dummy link. Oops, there we go. Now let's see. Hyperlink 1. Okay. There we go, and I will set up hyperlinks 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is my parent navigation menu, and this will be you know, certainly what a person sees right when they go to the page. Some of these options, I want to have some sub-menus and things like that. So um, I'll just pick on my second one right here. So I'm going to go to my second list item my, for my hyperlink to, and I've got my uh, insertion point right there inside of the list item tag, and I'm just going to press my enter key several times to give me room to work. So within this list item, I'm going to have another unordered list, and this is going to be, a, uh, let me do a class here. I'll do class equals sub1, because this is going to be a sub menu one, and I'll put in my closing unordered list. So just so that we're really clear, this submenu, this unordered list, is completely inside of a list item for the parent hyperlink or the parent list item. So, got that taken care of, and then really it's just a matter of making some more links. So I'm going to copy one of these, paste it, and this will be hyperlink 2.1. I'm going to repeat that a few times, 2.2 and 2.3. There we go. So there's our sub one. And I'm going to kind of repeat this process. So I'm going to copy. Notice where I'm copying. I'm copying basically everything that's within that list item for my hyperlink to. I'm going to copy that and I'll stick it down here for four. Paste it in here. So now I've got 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. And these are all, this is another sub menu. Okay. And I want to go a little bit deeper here. Um, I'll do a submenu for 4.3 also. So let me go ahead and paste right in there. And let me do some indentation just so it stands out to us. There we go. I know this is looking a little bit weird. This is going to be class sub 2. And this is going to be 4, 4, 4. And this is going to be 431, 432, 433. Now, I feel like I've lost a lot of people here. This is just really setting up this HTML. It's a complicated looking menu. But basically, within my list items, I now have complete unordered list to show this submenu. And you can actually see this right away. In fact, this is probably a good way to go. You know, you set up your menu first, get all the HTML down and what you with what you want. And now when I go to my browser, I'm going to see that I've really got a nested uh, series of unordered lists. So I can see my parent list, hyperlink 1, 2, 
3 and 4, and then there's 5 over there. And then I have a sublist for hyperlink 2 with 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. I have a sublist with hyperlink 4, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, and I've got a sublist on 4.3 to these all right so basically and this is how this is a good nested list so if you ever need to do a uh, a series of nested lists that's the technique for it so basically you're just putting complete unordered lists within the list item of the parent so really the HTML is done here so I've got just these dummy hyperlinks for my list so I'm gonna scroll up and start working on the styles and that's where the real work is gonna take place first style is gonna be a reset rule love doing the reset rules okay and I'm also gonna have a rule for my body here these are you know the, the reset rule I think is an important tool um, it sets all elements to zero margin zero padding so it's a nice way to have consistent layouts amongst different browsers uh, the body is just gonna be aesthetics I'll do um, font family Verdana background color ABC I'm gonna put a little padding on here too. And I do have a headline one. So I'm gonna format that. I'll center that. Dark blue. And do a little margin bottom. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. All right, so this is my my new my new and improved list. Notice I lost my nesting, so to speak, kind of. I lost the indentations because I set margins and paddings to zero. This isn't broken, and whenever you're making pages like this, you've just got to trust in yourself. And you know, I know it was working before. I know it looks different now, but I know exactly why it looks different. It looks different because I set all margins and paddings to zero. In effect, I got rid of all those default indentations but I still know that I haven't modified my HTML so I know this is a good well-written um, unordered list or nested list so I'm okay with that and now it's it's time to start putting the actual menu together and for some for most of these rules it really doesn't matter the sequence that we go in so I'm just gonna kinda start to knock some things out one by one Let's see here's my editor so I'm gonna start working on my list area in fact, there we go. I'll just do a little bit of um, formatting. So now the rules for my navigation menu are going to start up right here. And the thir first thing I'm going to do is I'll just say my unordered list nav menu list style type none. And I'm going to I'm going to show you each kind of step of the way here. So if I save this head back over to Firefox and refresh I've lost the bullets for most of those things okay but I can really do even more than that so in addition to my unordered list nav menu I could do pretty much any unordered list A couple ways I could write that I could do this all unordered lists list style type none all those bullets are gone okay if I happen to have some other unordered lists on my page though that could be problematic so I might do unordered list nav menu comma um, unordered list dot sub one comma unordered list dot sub two and this will take care of my main nav menu my sub one unordered lists and my sub two unordered list remember these are dots because I'm using classes as opposed to an ID so if I save this refresh still no bullets there okay so next thing I want to do is start to create this structure how this how this page looks or this menu looks excuse me alright so I'm going to go ahead and start to manipulate the list items of my unordered list unordered list nav menu list items and just so that we can see things I'm gonna go ahead and put a temporary outline one picks 
solid red okay so I'm gonna end up taking that off before we're all done but I like putting those outlines or borders on elements because it makes it really easy to start to visualize things and you can see where some of them are thicker looking because I'm kind of doubling up when I have a sub list but but that's gonna that is gonna make our lives a little bit easier so now to get those list items side by side well first I need to set their width I'm gonna do 125 pixels for their width and I'm gonna do a text align center center the text within them probably not too critical though and let's see I'm also gonna do position relative this is a really important step here so position relative is gonna allow us to position our sub menus absolutely within a list item so this position relative is probably one of the most important steps and let's see I will also do a float left and this is gonna get my list items side by side okay and um, let's see how that's looking there we go things are going pretty well here already getting that side by side look and let me go ahead and also put a little margin in here uh, maybe just to the right there we go so I just put a little margin you probably didn't notice that it. it just jumped a little bit but it is a little bit wider there um, this would stand out a little bit more let's so if I instead of I used outline if, if I went over to border there we go now you can actually see the spaces in between my list items when I throw that border on there so that's where that's coming into play okay so a little difference between border and outline so outline is outside of that margin space um, all right, so that's kind of good to know. So now I've got my, and remember, don't worry about how messy this might look in, in, the, in the middle of the surgery, so to speak. Um, I'm really just looking, all right, I got my menu items up there. Okay, I'm happy with that. Next thing I want to do is I want to manipulate the anchor tags. And whenever you're making navigation menus out of unordered lists, you're definitely going to want to manipulate those anchor tags. So let's jump back over here. Unordered list, nav menu, um, anchor tags so oops there we go and let's see I'm gonna do a uh, text decoration none that gets rid of the underlining and I'm gonna do display block that converts my inline element anchor tags into block elements and I like doing that because now my anchor tags are gonna be easy to manipulate I can manipulate their width and their height and it makes my list items behave more like buttons uh, check this out real quick let me just go ahead and uh, actually now let me set the width and height too so you can really see it so I'm gonna do uh, width I'll do 125 px I'm gonna do height of 25 pixels let me stop there for a second and check this out now before I hit refresh just kinda make a mental note of this if I want to activate my hyperlink 3 for instance I have to put my pointer literally on the text okay and I don't want to do that I want the entire button shape to be a hyperlink so now when I refresh watch this I can put my cursor anywhere in that little button and now it is a hyperlink okay so what allowed me to make that rectangle button hyperlink was basically making my anchor tags into block elements and then setting their width and the height to the shape that I wanted that rectangle to be so really important step and improves the usability of your um, navigation menu alright so I've got that uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of line height of 25 pixels and basically that's going to give me a kind of an illusion of vertical centering so now my text is kind of vertically centered if I had multiple lines of text that would be problematic but since I've only got one line of text in each button um, that's fine so I've got that little illusion of vertical centering there and um, actually that's pretty good so uh, I'll, I'll change the background color though and I will put a border on there Uh, kind of a light gray and how about a little border radius let's see I'm using uh, let's just do border radius I'm about five pixels let's see how that's looking okay kind of ignore those red borders for now okay so ignore those red borders and in fact I could always jump back here and instead of border I could change this over to outline if I spell it right there's outline there we go so it's a little bit clearer looking and if those weren't there at all I'm gonna put it back though later 
because I want you to see it on there. There we go. So this is how my navigation menu is looking. All right. Um, let's see. I see I'm about 15 minutes into this video. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, and then I'm going to pick this up in a second video. Okay, so a second part. So see you in a minute.